a shalom akim shalom first thing and foremost i'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakak i want to give double honors to the apostles and elders a great millstone and blessings and salutation to the whole elect those in this gospel where i lift up the standard of yahweh bashim yahweh shai where we may be uh this is just another lesson through the spirit nbc new york it says fiona devastates puerto rico total blackout and up to 30 inches of rain that's enough rain for two three months man okay because usually a month or so you get about an inch or two rain okay with 30 inches of rain that's that's over a course of a season dropped in one goddamn day all right and it hit the island of puerto rico and various other islands surrounding the gulf man okay but see this is judgment on you wicked stiff-hearted ephraimites down there okay because you ephraimites you are the head of the northern kingdom Okay, which is referred to the tribe of Joseph. You Ephraimites, okay, which is the so-called Puerto Ricans. All right, they're not Negroes. All right, some of you dummies out there teach. Okay, they're the Puerto Ricans that the Bible talks about. And yes, you have dark-skinned Puerto Ricans as well as fair-skinned. Okay, but nonetheless, uh, this is judgment from the Heavenly Father because of your, idol your idolatry and your simple-mindedness, man. Because you got men in the Lord down in Puerto Rico. And you don't have an excuse because Puerto Rico is a province of the United States. So you're free to come up to this country anytime without going through any borders or any type of uh, uh, Interpol, you know, uh, ICE troops or whatever you want to call that shit. You're able to travel freely from there, man, to a degree. And we know you watch the camps, man, because you Puerto Ricans out there, man, you you in the same pot as Jake. You ain't nothing but fair skinned niggas with fucking wavy hair. Okay. And that just to be telling the truth, man. You got some Puerto Ricans that's darker than Jake. But see, the hurricane called Fiona devastated you to the point the whole island is on blackouts. And this is not the first time that a um, particular, uh, uh, I think it was Hurricane Ira or something a couple years ago, back in 2017, 2018, hit the coast of Puerto Rico. And that nigga Trump was shooting jump shots and toilet papers at you niggas. They was dropping out supplies on islands that you couldn't even get to because <laughs> you were trapped on that goddamn island. But you still haven't learned your lesson, okay? Because, hey, you believe in idolatry. Majority of you are Roman Catholics, and I looked up the percentage of the Roman Catholics, man, and they gave a pie chart. And a majority of you were Protestants and Roman Catholics, man, which believe in Cesare or white Jesus. And what's the chance, ironically speaking, uh, uh, the name Fianna means to be white or pale or fair? <laughs> so the Most High, man, he has a sense of humor, okay? So I'm gonna play this video here. It's like a three-minute video, uh, for a four minute and thirty-seven v, uh, minute be I mean, four minute and thirty-seven second video by NBC New York reporting on the devastation of Hurricane Fiona, which means pillow white. Okay, but uh, showing how you tribes, man, you better get your act together because the time of mercy is running out. Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. We're gonna get a couple of precepts, not a deep lesson, just something basic to you know inform our people and warn them that judgment is coming if they don't get their minds right because that's the purpose of the show is meant to edify to build up and to warn our people man and to rebuke that's the reason why we do these shows you see but anyway without further delay i'm gonna play the video and we're gonna get a couple of precepts so here we go hurricane fiona is pummeling puerto rico with dangerous wind and a life-threatening rain the storm is making landfall after strengthening into a hurricane and the southern part of the island is taking the biggest beating as driving wind takes down light poles and power lines. Right now, the entire island, more than three million people, are in the dark. And power companies are warning that it could take several... Now, I want to say this. Out of all this shit that's happening to you niggas down there, where's your white Jesus at? Where's Jesus Christos? Jesus Christ. Okay, because you look down on anybody darker than you, man. And a lot of you niggas are black as hell down there. Okay, you got Ephraimites. And this is what they don't show you. Even the same thing in Mexico. Majority of the people that's walking down there are damn near dark skinned, man. Or like a dark brown skin. Now, of course, you got a lot of fair Mexicans and a lot of fair Puerto Ricans in my complexion. I mean, I'm not even... We're still considered dark people, man. Because we're shades of brown. Okay? But see, the ironic of it is... You got a lot of dark-skinned Ephraimites down there, man. Just walking around off the island, talking shit. Same thing in Mexico, darker than Jake. You know, but they think they're better than Jake, man, because they've been colonized to believe that they were better, man. 
Okay, and that's what slavery did to our people is divided the brotherhood between Judah and Ephraim. You see, but I wanted to bring that point out. But anyway, days to restore the power there and take a look at this video showing the real danger for millions of people. And that's flooding. Rising waters here sweep no. away a bridge in central Puerto Rico. This bridge was actually rebuilt after Hurricane Maria destroyed it five years ago this weekend. Storm Team Force Matt Brickman. OK, so Salaki, it wasn't Hurricane Iris, Hurricane Maria. And, and he saw us make a mockery of your ass because he's naming them out the fucking Hispanic people Maria, which that's a Spaniard name. OK, that's not an Israelite name for real. Well, you could say Maria or Mary. I guess you can say that, but that's the way you pronounce it in a, in a Latin. Okay, well, let me see. Five years ago, so that's 2021, 2020, 2017. So, yeah, Hurricane Maria. And, hey, wipe the flow with you niggas. And the Most High sent another one to you. And the next one he's going to send is going to be even more. Because don't believe these people. Hey, the death toll is probably in the thousands by now. But they're not going to tell you that because you think newborns. And one thing about Ephraim, Ephraim means to add, right? And, uh, 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 and they known for having a lot of kids. Okay, so the whole point about it is you think newborn babies are surviving down there? You think these single parent women down there are surviving when they don't understand how to speak English or they don't understand the way of living off the land? These people are catching hell and the ones of them that is surviving, they're getting caught up by these FEMA shelters, man. Being put on barges and fucking put to death. See, there's a lot of shit Esau don't show you in the media. Okay, but they have a lot of female barges out there in that region. In that region. Same thing that happened five years ago. People was getting led to these female barges to never be heard from again. But they're not going to tell you that on the news because there's a blackout on it. Okay? How in the hell you have a life-threatening storm but allegedly one fatality? Get the fuck out of here, man. Because you got homeless people down there. You got people with disability that don't know what the hell is going on. And you mean to tell me these people survived? Hell no. All right? So Esau is a goddamn liar. You see? But anyway... Just got new information on the storm, but we want to start with News 4's Gabi Acevedo, live in Ponce. He is the only local TV reporter in Puerto Rico tonight. Gabi. Rana, it is pouring like the sky has fallen here in Ponce, and it has been raining nonstop for the past eight hours. Behind me, a downed tree that is blocking access to a community in the center of Ponce, and that tree has also taken down some power lines, and that is the main story on the island, as you mentioned, as Puerto Rico, as if it was five years ago after Hurricane Maria, is in the middle of a total blackout. But the situation in the south coast is particularly extreme as Hurricane Fiona continues to pummel towns around this part of the island, making landfall not too far from our current location. Hurricane Fiona showing its might as we made our way from San Juan in the Atlantic coast to Ponce down south. Driving across the peak of the central mountains, cyclonic downpours were getting stronger by the minute. Just after 12 p.m., road visibility was low. Vegetation and down light poles were also major obstacles on the southern freeway. And as we entered the city of Ponce just after 1 p.m., it was evident that Hurricane Fiona was here and she packed quite a punch. The wind battered infrastructure, traffic lights dangling, debris spread across roadways that accumulated significant amounts of water, making it treacherous to move around. Arriving at Ponce Central Plaza, local hotels were dealing with significant flooding, and as we scouted the scene, we found guests hunkered down with a level of uncertainty. She's moving really slow, says Diego Alvarado Pomares, a native of Ciales, a town in the central mountains of Puerto Rico. The memory of Hurricane Maria almost five years ago to this date still very much present in Diego's mind. And he tells me we cannot forget. See, and that's the, hey, that wasn't the last time. The last time you had Hurricane Maria, it was a blackout down there. So you probably got a whole purge down there going on right now. All right, but anyway, I looked up. It says primary religion in Puerto Rico. And it says Roman Catholic and Protestants or others, okay? And the blue, that's the majority of it, man. That's 75 fucking percent right there, man. That you fucking peasy head Puerto Rican, you boneheads down there are engaging in that folly. Okay, now watch this. Let me type this in. Christianity, right? Man, as a matter of fact, man, look. Look, check this out. Puerto Rican, right? The fucking church, got the idols on there. The big mega church. Christmas. Puerto Rico Festival high uh, rest stock. And of course, that's white Jesus. 
you know which is all ancient this is all pagan worship this is all uh, 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 demonic man that's all idolatry and we know what the scriptures say about idolatry man all right so let's look this up now i'm gonna type in christianity and look what the fuck pops up christianity right watch this bam christ white jesus right blonde hair blue eyes white boy red boy that's why you niggas are down there getting fucked up man excuse my friendship i don't feel bad for you niggas man all right so this is the book of isaiah 28 and 1 it says woe to the crown of the pride and to the drunkards of ephraim and it's not talking about being drunk off brew man it's talking about spiritual brew meaning wine philosophies different religions man okay because hey we can show you to you blue in the face that your house shot was a so-called black man or a man of color with woolly hair and you niggas a buck up against us man like this one demon i met a long time ago coming to the truth she used to stay around my grandmother's house this is you know when you in the truth you try to wake every fucking body up this was probably back in uh 2011 when i first came in and i was because my grandmother stayed around a bunch of ishikarites man right black as tar standing around a bunch of mexican game bangers but anyway so we was talking about the bible and i was debating this little student this goddamn woman I don't know shit any damn way but i'm talking back and forth with this damn woman young chick and I'm like, so-called Jesus is a black man. She said, no, -uh, no, 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 no. I said, I could show you in the Bible. She said, show me in the Bible. And then I showed the bitch in the Bible and she still fucking didn't believe it, man. So fuck them niggas, man. Let them all be destroyed. If they don't repent, they going to fucking be destroyed, man. Because the most high have given you northern niggas enough time to get your shit together, man. All right? And you the worst ones. You worse than Jake. Okay? Because you serve the most idols, man. I believe, uh, was it Rare Bomb, if I'm not mistaken, that took over the Northern Kingdom? I forgot, because I get it confused between Jeroboam and Rare Bomb. But either way it go, you was a fucking idol worshiper, man. And caused a lot of you niggas to fall victim of this worshiping of Tammuz and Baal, okay? All these different gods and so forth that the Most High told us not to do, you know? But it says here, glory is, it says, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. Right, man, these philosophies. But behold, the Lord have the mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing should cast down to the earth with the hen. Then the crown of the pride of the drunkards of Ephraim should be trodden on the foot, man, okay? And this ain't gonna wake these niggas up because they're gonna still talk shit. They're gonna still be uh, 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 proud and lofty. And the only remedy for them is mass destruction. The most high gotta come and put them to death. Okay, through these riots, through these FEMA camps, and ultimately the nuclear missiles. Okay, because Hosea, he was cursing your ass out about being uh, in a messed up spirit, man. Alright, so let me get the book of Habakkuk 2. I ain't bought this one out in a minute, man. This is the book of Habakkuk 2. And I'm going to start at verses, uh, uh, yep, 18. And it says here, What profit the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? Okay, so what profit are these idols? Like the scriptures call them dumb idols because they don't move, they don't breathe, they don't talk, they don't piss, they don't shit. Okay, they don't have sex, they don't make babies. None of that, man. All right, but you worship them like when a flood came or, or, or when the Lord gave us manna from heaven and Moses smoked the rock and it became water. You shit, you niggas said that that was your gods, your idols that gave you those miracles, man. All because you couldn't tangibly see the most high, but yet there were tangible miracles. You saw the chariot. Okay, and you see that Moses went to dwell with Most High for a little season and came back with the glow and with the commandments that was written in uh, laser, man, that was written on stone. Okay, and he etched it on the laser on the stone because that way you niggas can't say that you couldn't get it. Okay, when you laser something, it's, a, it, it's permanent. And that was the Most High stamping that covenant with us, man. Okay, uh, uh, on tablet. But what you say, man, nah, man, Buddha did it. Allah did it. Christ did it. You know, the golden calf did it. Baal did it. Beelzebub did it. You know, Tammuz did it. And what's that other nut, that other demon name? Uh, uh, not Baal, it's another one. Molak, Molak. Which all these are the same spirits coming back in this day. But it says, What prophet hath the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? The molten image and the teach of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols, man. Okay, and we just showed you what a dumb idol is. You see, this is a dumb idol right here. 
This is nothing to, 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 to take and to glorify. This was a, a derogatory thing what happened to our Lord when he was put on a tree. But you niggas wear this, man. You worship this more than the creator, man. All right? You ain't supposed to worship no goddamn cross. You know, when you chicks be wearing them crosses around your neck, you ain't doing nothing but cursing yourselves. You know? Like every Ephraimite probably got this picture of the Last Supper in the house. Of, of, of white, of, of the white Last Supper. These people want this, man. It's some Edomite bullshit. And if you tell that clown Volcab Malone that that's a farce, man, he's gonna scoff you. But it says, warn to them that said to the wood, awake and to the dumb stone arise. It shall teach. <laughs> Go to these damn churches. But behold, it is laid over with gold and silver and there's no breath in it all. And we're in the midst of it, man. Okay, because there is dumb idols. But the Lord is the in his holy temple and let all the earth keep silence before him. And that's, 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 that's offensive when somebody's taking or something is taking credit for what you did. That is like if you build a house by hand and then another motherfucker take a patent and take ownership of what you built. You'll be offended in that, man. You know? That's called a farce right there. You see? So this is the book of Hosea 5. And I'm going to start at 1. It says, Hear this, O priest, and hearken, ye house of Israel, and give ear, O ye house of king of the king. For judgment is towards you, because ye have been a snare on Mitzpah, and a net spread on Tabor. Okay, so let's look this up real quick, because we like to look up words, man. Okay. Uh, Mitzpah goes at Mitzpah, ah, which means a watchtower. Okay, a place in Gilead, north of Jabbok. Location of Laban's carrying a place in Gilead, south of Jabbok, site unknown, a place near Mount Hermon, and the old sacred place in Benjamin. Okay, which the tribes of Israel was throughout that region. Okay, and it says, And the revolters are profound to make slaughter, and though I have been a rebuke of them all, but I know Ephraim, and Israel was not hid from me. Before now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom, and Israel is defiled. How did you commit whoredom? By worshiping these gods of wood and stone. Okay. It says they would not frame their doings to turn into their power. For the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them, and they have not known the Lord, man, okay? And that's the point. You ain't known the how about shooting how was shot. Because even to this day, man, you Puerto Rican niggas, man, you got something like that Dominican parade out there in New York. You niggas ought to be ashamed of your fucking self, man. Okay, you got them Dominican bitches twerking on top of uh, fucking vans and minivans and shit. Here this bitch is built like a Michelin marshmallow, man, with no ass, no back. Got titties for back flaps, and yet she's trying to twerk, man. Okay? You fucking Ephraimite women and you Iskarite women. When you out of shape, you look bad, man. Okay, you look like a straight up deflated tight off a third of a fucking 18-wheeler, man. Okay? Nobody know nothing. Cause you have all them kids, you eat all them goddamn carnitas, looking like the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. And then you got the nerve to be try to be proud against so-called people of color, black people. Oh, fuck that nigga, fuck that money car, man. Nah, man, the hell with you, man. Okay? Because we've been warning you 2 30, and you niggas too. That's why the most high is bringing storm after storm among your stupid asses, man. Okay? Because you have so much hate and envy for, for, for Judah, it's ridiculous. Calling Judah of Jake a bunch of niggas, but yeah, you niggas wearing the new Jordans, you wearing the throwback jersey, you wearing the fitted hats, the snapbacks. Okay? The Pelly Pell coats, which I don't know if people wear those anymore. But hey, you trying to bite off Jake swag, man. Putting the rims on your cars and shit. Which this car always been into the low riders and shit. But now you putting the four G's on the Jeep, the Forellis. You putting the Irax on the Irax on the Money Carlo. And Jake started that shit, man. Okay? But it says here, and the pride of Israel doth testify to his face. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in their iniquity and judah also shall fall with them man okay because all 12 tribes fell because the iniquity that we brought forth on ourselves by disrespecting the most high and they should go with their flocks and their herds to seek the lord but they should not find him he had withdrawn himself from them okay and that's the reason why hey the lord ain't dealing you and getting you out of that hurricane uh uh, uh uh hurricane fiona situation which is probably a lot worse than what they agging on man because i guarantee you there's all types of chaos and looting down there all right, it says they have dealt treacherously against Yahweh, and they have begotten strange children. Now should a month, a month devour them with their portions, man. Okay, so hey, man, this whole chapter is good. But anyway, I'm gonna give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Shimon Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball.
that the proud people of Ponce have also been through a recent string of devastating earthquakes. Rana, and I want to go back to the point you made at the top of your presentation, the situation in the Central Mountains. We have been listening to local radio where there are constant reports from neighbors in those communities across the Central Mountains describing collapsed bridges, damaged roads, overflowed rivers. It's a repeat for some of these people of what happened five years ago during and after Hurricane Maria. Reporting live from the city of Ponce, Gaby Acevedo, News 4 New York. Yeah, the island and its people have just been through so much. Gabi, thank you so much for your reporting on the ground there. We hope you stay safe. Uh, Storm Team Force Matt Brickman here just got a latest update, and this heavy rain is very concerning. Yeah, and we've probably got close to another 18 hours of heavy rain before things start to change. Fiona became a hurricane earlier this morning at 11 a.m. Now with sustained winds at 85 miles an hour and likely to get stronger through the night tonight and into the day tomorrow as it begins to pull away from Puerto Rico and move towards the Dominican Republic. You can see the center of the storm just between those two islands right now. The heavy rain still on the east side will continue to soak Puerto Rico through tonight and through tomorrow morning. Most of the island under flash flood warning up to 10 inches of rain reported so far, maybe another foot to go by the time the storm finally pulls away. You can see that big pink bullseye over the southeastern part of the island that is over a foot of additional rain and similar tolls expected on the east side of the Dominican as well. Up to 30 inches of rain, all total possible for parts of Puerto Rico. That would be that catastrophic flooding the National Hurricane Center is talking about. We'll walk through the storm what's left. Our by hour for you coming up in just a few minutes, Rana. Okay.